on? Donna Corby here from uh, from MMA Island. Uh, this is a big fight uh, coming up this weekend, but I do want to look forward a week to Katie Taylor, who fights uh, next week. We I just spoke to Scott Coker recently, and he says that there is a dialogue there between you and Bellator about doing this Chris Cyborg super fight. However, he also said that a deal breaker is this MMA fight, which I thought was a polite way of saying we're not interested. Um, could you tell us exactly... What's going on between you and Scott Coker and and how likely it is that at some stage we see Katie Taylor step into the ring with Chris Cyborg? Well, I think, you know, women's boxing is something that I'm very, very proud of at the moment. And we've still got a long way to go. You know, I mean, we've got a long way to go with regards to um, equality of um, exposure, equality of purses. But that, you know, I, I had an interview with The Athletic this week and they were saying, you know, some women are saying that they're not, you know, getting the same money for a world title fight as a male world title fight. It has nothing to do with male or female. It comes down to the commercial value of each individual fight. Now, the top end of women's boxing is already there. You know, Katie Taylor is earning more than male world champions. You know, uh, we got a, a world championship triple header of female boxing coming next weekend with Katie Taylor. You know, and for me, I look at those fights, those super fights, and I look at options for Katie Taylor. And Chris Cyborg is really one of them. You know, Clarissa Shields against Savannah Marshall. That's another super fight that can land for early next year. But I think with Katie, you know, that the crossover fight always creates a lot of interest. I can't imagine Katie Taylor in a cage, right? You know, she's, she's a boxing purist. But if Cyborg wanted to entertain a boxing match, and, you know, there's not been any negotiations, but I've certainly reached out to Scott Croker and said, you know, I think that's a super fight. And at some point, you know, Chris Cyborg is, is going to want, you know, the biggest financial fight available. So we'll see if Katie Taylor can get past Gutierrez next week, but we'd certainly be open to Taylor versus Cyborg in 2021.